Hi, welcome to the Power Play Reconnect experience. And I am Ruth, the Power Play Lady of the Power Play Reconnect experience. You've heard me on another channel, undoubtedly, a podcast called Let's Play. And essentially this is a continuance of Let's Play. However, this time I want to really put emphasis on the Power Play Reconnect experience. I chose the background for this for a purpose. Today we are all caught in a storm for which we were given no notice. It is dark. It is a place of the unknown. We are literally feeling our way around in the dark but I'm here to tell you that doesn't have to be so. What looks like a very dark and dismal experience is really the heart of a deep spiritual awakening. What we are seeing is the coming together of opposing forces. And now we are in a place where we must make a decision. It's not about trying to see how much money you can make after all of this is all over, because this is not going to be all over for quite some time. The intention has to be right here, right now, in the present, keeping our heads where our feet are. Focusing not on what we don't have, not on what was, not what we think will be, but what is right now. And in that what isness of right now, the only reality that we have is our individual self. Now, we have no control over anything outside of us. The chaos is just overwhelming, and you can see it daily becoming worse. Nothing makes sense. None of the reports make sense. All of the reports are, are conflicting. So where do we go to get a sense of centeredness, a sense of reality, when everything around us seems unreal? People running around with masks on, people scared to look at each other, people afraid to talk to each other, afraid to bump into each other, people becoming violent because they don't know what else to do. This is the power of play, and play can be very serious. Play, when it is done right, so to speak, has a purpose. Play is about learning what we need to know in order to be in any situation that we find ourselves. If you use the example of a good snowball fight, what do you have to be to really experience that experience? Are you going to sulk because someone hit you with a snowball or washed your face with snow? Or what is the reaction? You might have a momentary act reaction of, huh, what did they do? Why did they do that? But then you find yourself, you know what? Uh, it's on. And it's not on from an external method. It's coming from yourself. And you find yourself engaging, engaging full out into that experience because you know it's only going to last for a limited time. So if you're smart, you fully engage. And if you fully engage, you're going to find laughter. You're going to find joy. You're going to find a connectedness with yourself. And you will notice anyone who is not playing full out. You will notice that they're disgruntled, they're angry, they're resentful, they refuse to play. And then when you really stop and think about it later on, you'll say, oh, what's wrong with that person? What was wrong with Sam or Johnny or Sue or whoever it was? What was going on with them? 
You're not talking about anything external. You're not talking about the snow or the snowball fight. You're not talking about the clothes that they wear or their bank account or the house they live in or the car they drive. You ask the question, what is wrong with them? What was wrong with them? And then you turn the camera around perhaps and say, you know, I really enjoyed that. That was so much fun. Oh my goodness, I haven't felt like that in forever. This is the purpose of play. All mammals play. I would say that all living things play in their own way. And mammals play for survival skills, social skills. But for humans, we play to reconnect to ourself, to our original, authentic, self. That's what play does. When we watch children play, that's what we see. And we sit there and watch them and we get joy in watching children play because they're authentic. They are who they are. They make no excuses for it. They just go for it and they are in a state of being. Not doing, being. The purpose of the reconnect experience, the power play, reconnect experience is to reconnect us to that person that we were from the moment of conception. We all had an identity. We all had a self-knowledge until we were birthed into this world and everybody dumped their knowledge on us and told us, who we are, what we're supposed to be doing, where are we stood in the world. They put labels on us by race, by language, by, by intelligence, you know, IQ tests, all these different things that they've used to tell us who we are. And by and large, we stick to that program, even though it's not ours, and we know it's not ours. We know that there's something wrong with it because we are constantly in a state of discomfort. We're always trying to manipulate our minds and our beings, our spirits, to fit into this whole paradigm that someone created. And we know it's not right for us. But most of us go from the cradle to the grave, living inside of this paradigm that is not ours. We know instinctively, or we knew instinctively as a child, who we were until the world, well-meaning people, decided that, no, this is the way the world is, and this is what you must do to be part of this world. Now, I want to ask you, uh, looking at this world as it is, do you really want to be a part of it? Is this the paradigm that you want to follow? Now, beyond the storm, there is something beautiful. But in order to get there, you have to know what beauty is. That beauty is something that is in you and it's connected to something greater than you that is always, always has been, always will be beautiful. To get beyond this storm that we are all experiencing, we must tap in to the beautiful that is, the beautiful I am that is there for all of us and has been waiting for us to acknowledge it and move towards it. I am not talking about your inner child. Your inner child has been trying to get you to this place and trying to move everyone forward to the place where they could actually become a witness of what is, the truth of what is, what is beyond the storm. It's as if 
the whole inner child work that's been done was done so that we would be prepared for this storm and willing to re reach out and gain the truth of what lies beyond the storm. Don't doubt it. This is a difficult time. The world is never going to go back to the way it was. And I know I've been absent for this, from the scene for the last few weeks. And it was because I was waiting until the message came right for me to speak. There's been so much said, and a lot of it has been valueless, but there's been a lot of value too. So look beyond the storm, look beyond the way the storm is affecting your life. Find that unique part of yourself that you have had with you since conception, since before you were born. And even when you were born, you battled to hold on to that part of you. And then you kind of gave up. We all did. Because we believed what our parents believed, what well-meaning people believed, and they handed it down to us. And we accepted it, knowing that it wasn't right for us, knowing that there was no truth in it. But to survive, we acquiesced. Today, we are in a deep storm and the clouds are becoming darker and darker and darker. Now is the time. Now, right here, right now, is the time to reach out beyond the dark clouds and search for that light that will take you through this unprecedented time in human history. It is not an option unless you choose to be engulfed by the darkness. That's all I have for today. This is Ruth. This is the podcast of the Power Play Reconnect Experience. Let's play. And I am the Power Play Lady of the Power Play Reconnect experience. See you next time.